Hey everybody, it's Trigger Bar Philosopher. Welcome back out to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing an exciting video. Again, we're gonna be comparing clear ballistic gelatin against organic gelatin, 10% ordnance gelatin. But today we're gonna to be looking at nine millimeter. We're gonna choose a couple of self-defense rounds. We've got some Federal HST and we've got some Winchester 147 grain silver tip. Should be a good time, let's get shooting. Okay, so again, we're gonna be talking about Winchester silver tip, 147 grain. Federal HST law enforcement plus P124 grain. And we're gonna be using my Sig Sauer P365. That's the one with a 3.1 inch barrel. Now this looks like their X Macro Legion or their AXG Legion pistol. And it kind of is, it's a Spectre Comp barrel. It's got a Icarus Precision lower on it, but it's got that comp up top inside the integrated into the slide comp. It's kind of a comp, it's a slide comp, but the barrel only goes to about here where that front sight is. So that means it's the standard barrel and I, and I have run that in a regular P365. It's the same barrel system. There's no difference. Actually, the recoil spring is the exact same as well. So we're really gonna be testing these micro nine millimeters, how they perform in popular self-defense rounds, how they perform in organic gelatin versus clear ballistic gelatin. Now I've done this test before in 380. We're moving to nine millimeter to check it out. I am gonna put clothing in front because I think that's important to see. Do we get expansion with clothing in front with this short barrel? So we're gonna test that out with these popular brands. They should do well, maybe other brands won't, but I wanna get a baseline of organic versus clear ballistic in the nine millimeter front sense, and I thought using the short barrel 3.1 inch might be interesting to take a look at. Our test setup, we've got 10% organic gelatin that I've brewed, that I've made from, I think it's the 250A grade A Knox gelatin. I've We'll show you how I've calibrated it. We'll show you how it is kept at the right temperature. It's a pain in the butt to work with. In some regards, in other regards, it's not that bad. But you have to keep it. I have a cooler sitting over here with the gel. I've got ice packs making sure it stays at the proper temperature for these testing. Clear ballistic gelatin is sort of a synthetic of that. And of course, in all simulations, you're gonna get variations. You're gonna get no simulation is perfect. Just as organic gelatin isn't a perfect simulation of human tissue, there are assumptions, there are this is about good enough type of thing that, that happened decades ago. Just like that, organic gelatin or clear ballistic gelatin is a simulation of the organic gelatin. In some cases, it's gonna be better than others, so I wanna find those out. We're now gonna move from 380 ACP, and I'll leave a link to that video somewhere up here. And then we're also gonna try out nine millimeter. Look in the future, we're gonna try out some other calibers as well. If you have ideas for that, put it in the chat below. All right, with that said, should be a good time. Let's get to shooting. Okay, just starting things off. This is our organic gelatin BB calibration at 590 feet per second, three inches of penetration. Well, we'll take that as we are calibrated appropriately. Okay, well, we have that 3.1 inch barrel from the Sig Sauer P365. Again, same barrel length as just your regular run-of-the-mill P365, the first gen that came out, the short barrel, 3.1 inches, and we have some of that Federal high HST plus P, 124 grain. Again, I think that is one of the best. So we're gonna see how it performs with organic gelatin. I do have in front of it two layers of T-shirt, two layers of denim, and we will see how it performs. I'm hoping to get two shots into this gel, one with this round and one with the Winchester. And I wasn't able to capture it because I'm too close. Let's go see what happened. Okay, let's just take a quick look at this. You know, it performed exactly as expected. That plus P comes in, does just phenomenal damage. I really like looking at the organic gelatin versus the clear ballistic. You just see so much more the typical spiraling of, a, of the expanded bullet. It expanded very nicely. You can see over in here, 
almost out to the perfect 16 inch mark 15 and a half inches that is just right so yep performed as expected let's now try that 147 grain and see if we get the same result okay next up we have that winchester silver tip 147 grain this is not a plus p version so that's what i'm kind of curious to see how it performs in organic versus clear ballistic so we've got the organic gelatin two layers t-shirt two layers of denim let's see if we can maybe capture this i don't know on the garmin radar we'll see didn't capture it on the garmin let's see how we got down the range Okay, it seemed to perform very nicely in this organic gelatin. You can see that it came in and about, ended up at about 14 inches, so not as much penetration we have there. Fantastic wound track video from this direction. Yeah, I mean, they look very similar. Doing very similar work there. Take a top view, very similar as they go down. I don't know about the same damage distance out to the maybe six inches they get their most damage and then they kind of go linear and straight line from there did a great job now the thing with organic gelatin is you have to keep it cool and so we're just kind of looking this is where we're calibrated at it's showing just over 40 degrees actually i think it's going to keep going down to about 40 degrees because that's what i kept it at in the refrigerator and i brought it out in a cooler with ice it's making sure that it didn't heat up for our test. So again, calibrated correctly. You saw the bullet or the BB going 590 feet per second, three inches deep. Gel block still at 40 degrees. Okay, we have the two. This is our Federal HST plus P. Again, we're going to zero out our measurement. Take a look at that. It has some long pedals here. 0.6. 0.62, Good, good size pedaling here, 0.62. And then when we look at the Winchester silver tip, it doesn't look to be as wide. So, yeah, 0.55 is what we're looking at. So definitely it's kind of losing almost a tenth of an inch in width between those two. Extra velocity and the plus p nature of it right extra power okay this is our bb calibration 590 feet per second see that the bullet landed just below three inches and got out to three and a half inches sure maybe that's just a little bit long uh, for the test but it's right in there again at a little the where the bullet sat is under three inches it's supposed to be between three and a quarter and and a little below three inches so i think we're there pretty good well, we have our clear ballistic gel down range, five, three yards. We have our layers of t-shirt and layers of clothing. We have that Federal HST plus P 124 grain. We'll see how it does in the gel. <clears throat> well, we hit the gel, but I forgot to turn on the camera. Son of a gun. All right, well, I will reshoot this in just a second. But in case something weird happens, we're going to take a look at that. Look how it got out. It got out to probably 20 inches. Let me get the tape measure in just a second. But uh, we saw very nice wounding. See, it just doesn't show as much disruption as what you see in the organic gelatin. But we did get fine expansion. We'll have to test the difference. But we definitely got, gosh, what? Because it was right up against the gel, so we got three or four inches more. So again, here it is with the tape measure up. It's showing that we the bullet landed at about 19 inches, maybe 18 and three quarters, bounced back to 18 and a half, 18 and a quarter, because the previous one was at 15 and a half, and then we got out to 18 and a half, so maybe three inches difference. 
Okay, well, what I decided to do is just leave it. I know you didn't see the gel shot. My apologies. I will shoot one after I shoot this of the 124 grains so you can get a gel shot of it in slow motion, see what it's doing. But essentially, you got all the effects without all the stupid video of me slowing it down. I just want to be get this next shot into more dis undisrupted gel so we get kind of a better test with it. All right, so again, 147 grain Winchester silver tip out of the 3.1 inch barrel from this SIG P365. Start the video this time. Okay, taking a look at what it did, performed very similar again, similar disruption again in the organic ballistic gelatin out to about nine inches. In organic gelatin, it had pretty just good disruption out to about six inches. This goes out to nine in clear ballistics. When we get out to about the 19 and a half inch mark, remember this 147 grain did expand it as much as the FST, but yet it didn't go as, as, as the HST, but it didn't go as far. Let's pull these bullets out. And one thing I want to point out, I'll try to shoot it with the other glasses is that it looks like it came in. I rotated this block, but I didn't rotate my catch block. And it looks like right at the end, it may have hit that HST. The, the Winchester bullet may have hit the HST bullet. So that's kind of sucks. Let me pull those out and we'll get and see what happened for comparison. Okay, here are our two bullets. This is the 147 grain. It looks like, you know, again, it may have hit that other bullet. So looks like there's a little bit of an indentation there. Maybe it was tumbling when it hit that part. Not great expansion, not as good. Well, well let's measure it and pull, peel back as far. So here we have our calipers out, 0 0.47, 0 0.46. It was at 0 0.5 when we were in the gel. And then now let's look at the HST. It got, if you count these, if you count these things that are way out here, right? It's interesting, on the sides that it got the most, you get way out at the extreme, it's 0.67 expansion. And if we go more in towards some of the others, it's 0.54. So I'm gonna say, you know, I don't think they expanded as much. This wasn't through with this expansion as much as it was in the organic gelatin. So again, this is good information, helping us compare clear ballistic versus organic. Remember, there's lots of trade-offs. It's a pain in the butt doing the organic gelatin. I don't have the fridge space, but it's good information to know that the old adage that penetrates more with chloroballistics and doesn't expand as much uh, seems to be holding true, especially for these nine millimeter calibers. Okay, well, we have the Federal HST 124 grain. This is our second shot into the clear ballistic gel. anyone asks this is that second shot into the gel it's, it's the same there's no real difference all right we have five rounds we didn't capture any of these when we were shooting it into the gel block let's this is from the same box let's see what a quick average is that we're getting on these 1106 1140 1136 11.06 and 11.31, quick session summary. We have a min of 11.06, an average of 11.24, a max of 11.40, extreme spread of 33.8, and an average kinetic energy of 348. That's with the plus P Federal HST. 348 folks on nine millimeter. Performs very well in the gel. They get great expansion. Seems to do all the things that a pistol caliber should be doing. 
Okay, next up, we've got the 147 grain Winchester Silver Tip. Got our Garmin radar up. Let's see if we can get some results with it. 951, again, 147 grain non plus P. 952, 948, 969, and 978 out of our 3.1 inch barrel. Session summary, we have min of 948, an average of 960, a max of 978, extreme spread of 30, standard deviation of 11, average kinetic energy of 300. So there you go. We are down to 300 with some premium ammunition of kinetic energy and foot pounds, but again, very effective in the gel. It's doing the things it should, not over penetration, not under penetration. We check the organic, we check the clear ballistics. Seems to be performing very well. Well, let's wrap things up. I thought we had a great uh, comparison going between the 10% organic gelatin with the clear ballistic gelatin. Two layers of t-shirt, two layers of denim, denim to all together four layers. I thought that we had good results from these. I think it proved the old adage that with clear ballistic gelatin, we see that we get extra pe penetration and not as much expansion of a hollow point. That proved true with these two rounds in this pistol, in this barrel length. I don't know how much that's extractable to all nine millimeter, but it's certainly a baseline for us to reference and something for me to refer back to when I'm doing other more clear ballistic tests and we can talk about how these two relate to each other. I think that, uh, you know, again, at, we're seeing great performance in terms of expansion, both in the clear ballistic and in the organic gelatin. I'd be happy. I'm not sure where truth is in human tissue, but you know, I think that that's a great comparison that we can go back to. And I think that th these rounds perform very well out of the P365. I think one issue that I have with people using micro nines is that they often use in these short barrels because it becomes very snappy. They don't use the plus P ammunition and they don't use, they use something tends to be lighter, maybe 115 grain, not a plus, plus P version. And I think that that may be a mistake. I think one of the benefits of nine millimeter today is that we have plus P, we have these better projectiles, we should be using those in our self-defense. If we think nine millimeter is just as good, we should be using the rounds that are just as good. All right, we won't get into that whole debate, but I, hopefully that this is useful and referenceable for others in the future. Hope everyone has a great week and let's get to shooting. Hey everybody, it's Trigger Bar Philosopher. Hey everybody. I thought we fought. I thought we fought.